Hey everyone, Emma here, also known as 8 Final O, bringing all of you another video. Today's video is going to be another concert recap slash review video. It has been a while since I've sat down to do one of these, and I keep going to shows, but keep forgetting to do these. So, I really enjoy doing these, though. Um, not only to share my thoughts on certain shows and the excitement that I have for these shows or experiences, but then also for me to actually, like, relive those experiences, especially when they're, like, two months when it's been like two months past, uh, which this one is. So, um, but as I was kind of thinking about, okay, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to do this video finally, um, as I was kind of running through, okay, trying to remember the show, going through some of my pictures and videos, um, I had a blast, right? Because if you do it like after the show, yes, everything's really fresh and you have that adrenaline and excitement. And I like, I, it'd be fun to do that as well, but there's also something extremely exciting about uh, maybe taking some time after the show and um, kind of going back and reliving that moment. So that's kind of what's happening uh, with me with this show for today's video. So I'm going to be talking about a lot of people here in the vinyl community have been going to see this show. This has been a bucket list item for people. It was a bucket list item and artist for me. And that is, of course, Jeff Lynn and Jeff Lynn's ELO. I had the opportunity to see Jeff Lynn. He was always somebody that was on my musical bucket list. And with this final North American tour, this over and out tour, this was my last chance to see him. Um, so I ended up going to see Jeff Lynn. He played at the Heritage Bank Center in Cincinnati, Ohio on Friday, September 13th. So this was part of my Cincinnati trip. I know I did a vinyl haul video on that that I'm going to link down below. Definitely want to go check out all the different record stores and see the sites. But another reason why I went to Cincinnati was to see Jeff Lynn and Jeff Lynn's ELO. Um, I walked in to this show with high expectations, right? I've heard so many great, amazing things about Jeff Lynn's ELO, about the production, about how they sound. So I walked in with high expectations. And so although I wasn't necessarily surprised um, by how much I enjoyed it, I was definitely not disappointed by any means. And I did enjoy it so much. I enjoyed it immensely. I thought that everything about it was incredible. I thought that I mean, Jeff Lynn, he's like 76 or something like that. And so I always like with these bands and artists, right, especially as they're older, like I go in telling myself that, okay, they're 76, they're not 23, right? <laughs> they're not in their prime anymore. And so I always tell myself that. And oftentimes it's like you go in and you're like, yeah, they still sounded pretty good. You know, yeah, they're still 76 though. They're moving a little slow or not hitting those high notes. Um, but Jeff actually, his vocals sounded incredible for his age. I mean, he was, in most cases, pretty spot on. And he had a great backing band. He had great backing vocalists. I had so much fun watching them. It was a guy and a girl. I don't know their names off the top of my head, but they were just singing and dancing. Um, the musicians were incredible. But Jeff sounded amazing. So huge kudos to Jeff Lynn, especially on this tour. His voice was incredible. But it wasn't just the musicianship in the show, right? It was the overall production of everything. The video screens, the lights, the strobe lights, just the entire atmosphere of this show was exactly what I was hoping it would be. And so because it was exactly what I was hoping, um, that you can tell, you can tell I'm still uh, just riding a high from that show. And again, as I'm sharing these stories, right, this is about a month and a half remu removed now, but I am reliving that experience and it was just incredible. Um, I was over, I was in the lower level. I had a great view of this, of the, of the stage. I was at the lower level, lower 100s bowl, kind of off to the side a little bit, looking forward. There's a stage and I'll show pictures and videos here in this video, but um, I had a clear shot of all the video screens. I had a clear shot of Jeff. I was close to the stage. It just, everything just pieced together perfectly. The opening act was a band that I had heard of, but I didn't really know. And it, their name is Rooney, um, kind of an early 2000s 
alt rock slash little power pop s band um they sounded great i really enjoyed their set i was kind of walking around and doing some stuff during their set grabbing some refreshments and so on um but as i was listening and watching some of it i was like okay they actually i mean they sound really really good so i enjoyed that and then of course just the vibe of the place I'm not huge on arena shows or stadium shows. I always prefer the intimate small venues, um, but there's just certain bands, right, where there's, that's just not an option. And so um, although I don't go to a lot of arena and stadium shows, I do go when it's something that means the most to me. And this is this is built for an arena show, right, with between the lights and the production. Um, this is when I think that is done, like, right and feels, like, really great. I don't know how else to explain it. You probably know what I'm talking about. But um, everything just pieced together perfectly. The, the fans were great. Um, there was a guy who, and a lot of the fans were sitting during this show. I'm not one that likes to sit during concerts, although I will, especially if like other people, especially behind me, are sitting. I don't want to be that person. But there was a guy. He didn't care. And I loved it. He was standing. He was right in front of me the whole time. That man sang every word dance to every song and it made my day so shout out to you whoever you are if you're out there watching you made my entire night that night nobody had more fun than that guy but I, I still had a lot of fun. Um, and so real quickly I do want to run through the set list. I know that the set list this tour has been pretty consistent um, with the songs that they played however I think maybe the um, arrangement of the songs and stuff has kind of changed from city to city. Uh, so I'm going to share the set list from Cincinnati um, on that September 13th. I think, and real quickly before I get into the set list, I think the other really cool thing uh, that I noticed at the show is that a lot of people, right, they knew exactly that what they were getting into. They knew all of these ELO songs, they loved Jeff Lynne, but I think there were also some casual fans that, you know, know your Mr. Blue Skies, know your Do Ya is an Evil Woman and Living Thing, but I think in some, during some songs as I was looking around and seeing reactions, there were some, like, very casual fans or just music fans or people that wanted to go out and have a good time that I think were surprised to hear certain songs and realize, oh my gosh, like, that's ELO? That's ELO, right? Like, they have so many amazing, well-known songs that people grew up with, that they love. Um, and so that also kind of warmed my heart to see as well, just how appreciated uh, Jeff Lynne and Jeff Lynne's ELO and just ELO music in general is and how many... And the demographics too, I mean, from old to young to everywhere in between, people are having a blast, and I love to see that. Okay, so enough blabbering. Let's get into the set list. So he opens up with One More Time, which has been the staple this tour with opening up. Then he got into Evil Woman, Do Ya, Sweet Talkin' Woman, which they sounded great on that song, Strange Magic, one of my favorite ELO songs off of, and I have this pulled exactly for this, um, a very soft spot, meaningful album to me. I love this debut album, No Answer, and that is 10538 Overture. showdown i love that song that sounded incredible stepping out rockeria can't get it out of my head fire on high into living thing and then it got into the surprise for me of the night and i say surprise in the sense that i like this song i like discover uh, discovery that album but it's not my favorite elo album and this song is not by any means my favorite elo song but from but that night it was my favorite song that they played live. I had so much fun with that song, and that is Last Train to London. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was the drinks. I don't know what was happening, but I just completely connected and vibed with that song. I was dancing. I was singing. 
that was a blast. Then they went from Last Train to London. Now, a lot of people love this is like their favorite ELO song ever and one of their favorite songs of all time. <laughs> I like this song. It's not my favorite. Um, I, I like it. I sing along to every word. That is telephone line. <laughs> I know, Sam, like I get, I get it. Um, it's okay. It's a, it's a good song. It's a good song. It's not my favorite. Then it gets into All Over the World. Then a nostalgic favorite of mine, which I grew up listening to. I remember sitting in the car listening to this on the radio. That is Turn to Stone, Shine a Little Love, and then Don't Bring Me Down, which is another just kind of sentimental song. they leave of course come back it's the encore they get into mr blue sky everybody's dancing and singing the visuals were great everybody sounded great everybody was having a blast i still love that song still love that song i will sing along to mr blue sky every time i hear it and it comes on so that was the set list pretty standard like i said i think all the songs this tour have pretty much been the same the order may have a very little bit but great set list to cap off Jeff Lynn's ELO for this tour. Now, I didn't pick up any merch. Um, I would have loved to pick up like a t-shirt or a tour po poster. I just couldn't justify the prices. And that is the case with most concert merch now. The prices are crazy. Um, but, you know, $50 for a t-shirt, maybe $30 i will take, right? But like $50, no. Uh, the posters, I like getting posters sometimes. The posters were $50, okay. But they weren't city specific. They were just the general tour poster. So if it was city specific, I probably would have picked it up for 50 bucks. But the fact that it was um, just the standard one for $50 that all the cities are getting, I'm, I passed on it. Now, regardless of that, if you've been watching me, right, you know that I always say, anyway, that doesn't matter. The best piece of concert me memorabilia you can pick up is not merchandise that you can buy, but it is getting a set list. It is getting a guitar pick, something stage used, right? Um, now, at this show, right, I was in the hundreds level. I wasn't near the stage, so I couldn't really access the stage to ask for a set list or a guitar pick. The other thing is Jeff Lynn, he's not like Rick Nielsen, right, or some other bands or Kiss that throw out a bunch of guitar picks. He probably used one all night. They didn't have picks on the stand. It's very different from what I'm used to uh, in the guitar pick world. So I went in not thinking I was going to get any of that, but I always have to. It's like, it's an addiction, isn't it? Let's just put it that way. It's an addiction. I always have to at least try. So as everybody's clearing out Moving away from the stage, I'm starting to kind of make my way down the stairs, down towards the stage. I see a couple of stage hands, and I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to ask for the set list. Hey, can I get a set list off the stage? The first guy completely ignored me. He, like, looked me right in the eye and <laughs> just walked away. So I was like, cool. Uh, so I was basically going to give up there, and another guy comes walking out, and he's got a hat on. He looks kind of cool and whatever. <laughs> And uh, I'm like, can I get a guitar pick? And he doesn't even really look at me. He's like, ask the guy with the blonde hair. So he's British. So I'm like, okay, this is definitely Jeff Lynn's guy. I mean, did you just hear that accent? Um, so I'm like, who's the guy with the blonde hair? So I'm looking around, looking around. You're not going to miss it. I saw a blonde hair guy. And so I see him. They're tearing up the stage. He walks by. He walks just where I am near the railing, which couldn't have been more perfect. And I said, hey, can I get a set list or guitar pick or something? I just call out and he kind of stops. He reaches in his pocket. He looks at me. This is one of the coolest guitar picks. And I have so many in my collection, so many different stories. Um, this is one of the coolest ones in my collection, hands down, because I don't like like I said, he doesn't throw these out. They aren't really given away. I don't know how many he orders for the tour because he reuses them. But this came from his guitar tech, I am assuming, straight from his pocket he hands me this guitar pick, Jeff Lynn's ELO. So this is a Jeff Lynn pick. Um, and then it has the inscription on the back. Of course, this isn't actually signed, right? But um, this, you can tell there, that is a Jeff Lynn 
guitar pick. So these are the picks that he's using on these tours and he is not throwing these out. So it was just the luck of the moment of being right place, right time, talking to the right person. And he handed me this. So one of hands down the coolest pieces of concert memorabilia and guitar picks in my collection, just because of how um, scarce it is. I don't know how many there are floating around from this tour out there. So Jeff Lindsay hello. And of course that is inscribed. So that's kind of my little story there. Um, just to wrap up here, the set list was everything. The production was amazing. Jeff Lynn was amazing. As I've been now seeing some of these artists for the first and most likely only in last time, I can't help but towards the end of these shows just getting a tear in my eye because I know, one, just overwhelmed by the experience and the love that I have for these artists, bands, the music, um, but just also realizing you know, that's it. Um, but I feel so incredibly lucky to have seen this show and I had such an amazing time. So I know many of you out there have seen this show or have great Jeff Lynn stories. So if you have any, please share them in the comments down below. Um, but that is all I have for this video. I hope that all of you are doing well and I will see you guys for my next video. Bye guys. Bye.